hello guys hello welcome to my channel you are hanging out with dynamat fx and in today's video we'll be looking at forex trend and all there is about it if you want to know what trend trading in forex is all about and you really want to know when to buy or sell when not to do any of this then this video is for you please make sure you keep watching and in a couple of minutes you'll be glad you did and please if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do that kindly go to the subscription button hit it okay give me your thumbs up your comments in the in the comment box below so you get notified first as i drop new videos okay and in the process of watching if you have a question you need what you want me to handle one or two stuff you have a question to ask okay as a beginner I would like you to drop the comments there and also you you can see my email you can drop your mess your questions on my email box right there and okay and that issue will be handled on the next video so without any further ado let's get right into it okay so um i'll be using this chart okay you can see me flipping through my chart right now and you can see that the market is um moving in different direction yet i want to take note that in forex mark in the forex trading okay the forex market as a whole does not move in one direction okay if the market moves in one direction okay that like the market is going up it's just going up one year two years three years the, the the stocks the commodity whatever it is you're trading this whatever the trading instrument is if it's just going in a certain direction of course bet me you know that we are all everyone on earth is going to be a millionaire every forex trader is going to be a millionaire you just get into the market you see it on a straight line you join the queue <laughs> funny right well the forex market does not move like that so you have to understand the reason why you see the market go up this minute and the next minute going down or today this pair was up and tomorrow this pair is down okay i said we're not going to waste much time i just want you to understand okay and i know we have i have um beginners here and in fact this class is mainly for the beginners i made this video for people who are just starting i don't want you to okay be bored about any time i'm trying to make sure that i make everything simple very simple and easy for you to understand yeah this chart okay let me zoom zoom it completely out you can see this pair is um euro usd this is a major pair i decided to use this pair for my illustration and um i said to use the one hour time frame okay you can also use the four hour time frame but i want to use i can use any of the time frame for my illustration now you've observed this market just observe the market is moving up moving down it's not going the same direction yeah this is what we call market trend okay so the up and down movement you see on your chart either on your mt4 platform what i'm what i have here is my mt4 platform or the mt5 platform or the trading view platform it's called the market trend and you have to note take note if you're writing take note that the market the forex market doesn't move in a straight line it moves up and down and we have a market trending in a particular direction either for a short term or a long term depend on the time duration okay depend on certain factors you know certain factors in the you know being a global financial market certain factors can cause the market to move in a certain direction okay there could be fundamentals okay there could be an overall market sentiment there could be technical and factors put into consideration before that's what you're seeing right now in this market and you you have you have two main players in this game two main players in this business you have the bulls and the bears okay uh, in a short while you understand who the bulls and the bears are if you are new to this to forex trading okay so um a quick one in forex market we have two main trends two main trends not like there are only two we have three but we focus on two because that is where the interest is that is where the market the profit is two main trend and from what you can see here okay i have two trends here 
So in the, mark, in the forex market, we have two main trends, downtrend, uptrend, simple. Then we also have a sideways market. And this sideways market, we call it a ranging market. Why? Because it falls, the movement of the market seems to, seems not to create, not to um, perform the tax of a full-blown trend. You know, you understand so when I handle the features of you know, the characteristics of a trend what makes a trend qualified to be called a trend okay for now this pattern you're seeing me has not fulfilled that um, description of a trend it is just moving in a sideways direction in a sideways um yes direction so we call this market a sideways market you call it a ranging market you call it a consolidating market a consolidation you call this kind of market an indecisive market okay the bulls and bears are trying to make a decision in the market who are the bulls and bears before we get right to that you have to understand that the market the forest market is is um, represented by two animal symbols two animals the bears and the bulls okay if you look at the bear the bear you know the bear is an animal if you look at the bear the bear tends to face pin its head downwards whenever it's in a battle okay and the bull has a feature of pull of of putting its head it and raising its head upward its horn upward okay whenever it is in a battle whenever it's faced with attack or something so the character of those two animals okay is the symbol of forex trading so in this market forex trading i can summarize to mean that the forex market is actually a battleground for the bulls and the bears and you can be the bull i can be the bear both of us could be same thing, okay? And then when it gets to a point when we have an indecision, at some point, we are strong. I am stronger than you. You are stronger than me. Both of us are on the same strength level. You see what we call the range market. We are on the same range, the same strength level. This one is not greater than the other one. This one is not more powerful than that one at that point, okay? I'm trying to make you understand why you're seeing it this way, okay? Just try my best to make you understand. So... Now you now understand that in forex market we have the downtrend. It's as simple as that. Your eyes can even tell you it's going down. 
oops it's going up oops it's going sideways i don't understand what is this train doing it's just going sideways dynamite what can we call this train it is sideways trend it's as simple as that and then your eyes can also show you that something was moving upward very clearly it is an up what okay so i have been able to answer that i've been able to let you understand what you know the trends we have we have the up the down and the sideways trend so you have that in your mind okay but the money you are looking for is not in the sideways market take notes the market the money is either in the upward trend or in the downward trend now what are the features of a trend what are the features of a trend okay the features of a trend okay has to do with um what makes it a, 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 a an uptrend or what makes it a downtrend every trend is characterized by you no know, every okay let me start with an uptrend an uptrend is supposed to have um what we call what we call a higher high sorry yes an uptrend is supposed to have what we call a higher high and a higher low moving in a consecutive um, re um rhythm okay what do i mean by that this is what i mean by that this is this is it yeah higher high it keeps moving this way okay this is for sorry this is for a downtrend market came all the way from somewhere and then created this failed to keep going down and then start creating a higher high and keep doing this until it gets to this point so what happens here this was a low that was here before okay and now this low ended here and what you now have here is the beginning of another high this is a higher high this high never came back to this okay just came and tested this zone stopped and created a new high it came back and tested this zone stopped and created a new high so you end up having a higher high here a higher high and a higher low that means this low this low is higher than the previous low okay let me do that once again for you to see okay the market moves that way now i'm telling you that the market moved and came to a certain point and decided to change direction and instead of create and instead of after this movement upward after the movement upward the market came back and stopped at this zone and created a higher low here it's no longer on the same level with this and then from here it continues going up came back created another higher low goes up create another higher low okay higher high and higher low so in other words in an upward trend an upward trend has what we call a series of higher highs and higher lows until that trend gets exhausted that's number one okay that's number one so let's move on to let's move on to the downtrend in a downtrend in a downtrend um market okay like this what you have in a downtrend is a lower low and a lower high what do we mean by that this was an a, a trend something going up it began to do this and begins to do this begins to do this begins to do this begins to do this now this is this structure has been broken okay we'll handle this later in another video you will see it in my next video this market began to do what what you're seeing here it began to create this and it's, it is creating this movement downward in a sequence of lower lows lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs okay so in this market we have this is a lower this is a lower low this is a lower low and this is a lower high point a to point b it comes down again creates another lower low and creates a lower high then the high is lower than the previous high it keeps coming down creates another lower low and creates another lower high so this is the characteristics of the of the characteristics of the downtrend now let's let's look at the examples here this is it this is it very good 
let's take note of this this is an uptrend now for an uptrend i can show you at least two examples of a higher high this was the first this was the this this trade came from somewhere and got to this point and changed direction broke up here broke up here created the first higher high and then a higher low it didn't go back to this point where it came from it proceeded went up broke again broke this zone again came back and created another lower another higher high and a higher low it broke again went up and didn't come back there again and stopped somewhere here and pulled back again and created a lower low and a i'm sorry a, a higher high and a higher low and then continue pushing up and the trend continues that way so this is what we're talking about okay it keeps creating this movement upward in a wave-like structure in a wave-like structure market does not move in one direction this is what happened here you see that whichever way it comes it's creating this rhythm upward it's creating this wave this wave of w's of v's upward okay it's a wave it's an upward wave an upward wave, upward wave okay that is how you characterize an uptrend so this is now a downtrend very perfect example of a downtrend okay you can see this that a downtrend is giving us a series of of a structure broken it kept giving us new lows new lows new lows new lows until it got exhausted here at this point here it kept giving us this this so this is what we call lower low lower low lower low lower high this is lower low lower high that means the high is lower than this previous high this is the lower low this is the lower high this is lower low this is lower high so that is the reading that is the movement of the downtrend until the trend is changed so it's as simple as that this is just a foreknowledge to help you understand what you are seeing in the market now when you got to a, a, a sideways market a sideways market failed to give you failed to give us this redeeming up and down it failed to give us this redeeming up and down okay look at it here instead of giving us instead of giving us a two or three wave up and down it just came here stopped here okay it just came here it got up instead of doing this instead of doing this it got stored at this zone at a certain zone it failed to create the reading upward neither this did it even create a downward reading okay it was neither going up just take a look it was neither going up neither was it coming down it was just going on this direction it's as simple as abc i hope you understand that that is what that is how best i can explain a trend to you so if you want to still know you okay you have to know how to trade trade this in my other videos okay you have to visit my my you have to check down for my other videos you're gonna see how to actually master trading with this with um the, with the trend you know if the market is selling or buying if the market is going down just imagine this okay you say that the bs these are actually the bs the bs you know i said the bear animal is represented by by um by a downward a downward and heavy character the beer faces down okay so if you are a beer if the market is becoming bearish all you need to do here in this market is that you have to keep selling only so how do you sell you look for selling opportunities if you want to know how to sell this market you have to visit my videos on how to okay my on on how to trade trends you know how to actually trade continuation patterns and the rest. 
you have to visit my videos go and check my videos on best strategy you know using the moving averages and the rest this video is just to teach you about trends not to talk about how to trade it we cannot it's a wide topic we cannot handle that here so for the bs you are only selling this market you have to be looking for opportunities and, and areas of confluence where you need to place your trade a buy or a sell okay and then if you are for this market if the market is actually on an upward movement you are with the bulls let me use a green color you are with the bulls and what do the bulls do the bulls actually buy they just buy only your business is to buy only you don't have a business selling here if the market is is moving upward and you're forcing it downward guy you're going to be losing your money i'm telling you you'll be losing your money you cannot force the trend you only follow the trend if you see a sign and how do you know how are you going to follow the trend you have to look out for other topics on support and resistance broken structures and areas of possible reversal okay i'm going to do it I'm, I'm i'm going to do the next video is going to be on area and um, possible areas of reversal you have to know where market will likely react when it gets to a certain point a point where when the market gets to it has to make a u-turn or a v-turn or a w-turn or okay a sharp turn such places are called the support and resistance zone so look out for that video okay for better understanding and please do not forget if you haven't subscribed yet you'll be missing out on a lot okay especially if you, you are a new trader in this business okay i'm gonna try my best to keep it simple i'm gonna try my best to help you understand these things you really need a mentor forex, forex trading is not as complicated as it is it is complicated when you do not have knowledge when you do not have a mentor so get a mentor okay if you need a mentorship just visit my email below down below the description box there and get me notified it's very affordable okay you need mentorship it's as simple as that it's easy it's not difficult as you have been told or what it seems. Just get the right knowledge and know what to do, okay? And um, until then, till we meet again, till my next video, stay blessed.